Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we'll cover the introduction of Node.js. In this complete tutorial series, we'll see some of the more advanced features of Node.js as well. So, before getting started, let's have an idea what this Node.js is all about. As the name says, it is a JavaScript technology which we will use on the server side. Yes, that's right. So far, whatever we have covered in JavaScript, majorly everything executed on the client side. But now, this technology will allow us to make this JavaScript code on the server side as well. So let's see what all we are going to cover specifically in this video and then we will move on to the basic features of it. So like here, we'll see what this Node.js is all about and the features of Node.js. So let's see. Uh, what are the prerequisites here? So before getting started with Node.js, you must have a very good knowledge of JavaScript, like writing the code for the timeout things or the callback functions or handling the events. You must have an idea about all those things since we will not cover the JavaScript in this tutorial. It is a better idea if you have the server side scripting programming uh, outline in your mind. Even though if you don't have any idea about the server side programming, it's fine. We are going to cover this in this tutorial. So here you can see like Node.js is introduced by Riandel in 2009. In the very short span of time, you can find like this technology has occupied a major market. This is a JavaScript framework. When I say framework, it simply means it's not only about a library, but it will also give us a runtime environment. The runtime environment on which our server will allow the client applications to execute. We will cover this framework thing in the installation part. In the environment setup, we'll see what all this Node.js is going to provide us. Apart from that, you can see like it is licensed under MIT, that is Massachusetts Institute of Technology and it is open source and completely free that simply means like you don't have to pay anything for using this node.js means finally we are getting something free on the server side as well and it is open source means you can customize as per your requirement here you can see node.js is comprising a runtime environment and a library as i said earlier all right it is on it will perform the things on the server side okay and now you should know like whenever you execute the JavaScript on any of the browser, every browser has the JavaScript engine inside it. For Google Chrome, we call it V8 engine. So when this JavaScript is designed, it is actually focused and based on the Google Chrome's V8 engine. But it doesn't mean at all like it will not be supported by any other browser. No, you can run this Node.js code and you can make the request with this Node.js uh, program servers from any of the browser. Which type of application should we create using Node.js? In any application where you are going to take the input output operations to a very majorly. So you can use Node.js in that particular scenario. All right. Now let's find some features which will help us to plan when and how to use the Node.js. Like first point you can see it is event driven as you see it is asynchronous all right so this asynchronous programming in node.js will be introduced by two ways one is callback another one is this event driven things event looping things so this is all supported by node.js apart from that you can see it is single threaded single threaded means there is only one thread will be provided by the server side and that single thread will be able to respond to the multiple requests of the clients. How? Basically, whenever one request will come, this thread will start responding it. For example, there is a client one who wants to make a login. All right. It will pass the username and password, which will be taken by this Node.js thread and will be forwarded to the database server. Meanwhile, database is doing some background uh, activity this thread will take the request for some other client. That means that this thread is not going to wait unless until the response is coming. Rather, it will do the things asynchronously and it will not keep on waiting for some requests or responses. It, as soon as the thing is on hold, it will start taking the request or will start doing some other processings. And 
you can see it is no buffering as well right so as the single threaded asynchronous programming when we will start applying this you will find that throughout the application there will be very less chances or no chances of buffering now when to use like which type of applications are there on which we can we can use the node.js so as i said earlier in any application in which the input output is very frequently like the chat applications like when you start chatting the inputs there are so many inputs coming right so the chat application the gaming servers streaming servers maybe if you are providing something the live streaming you can use that in any IO bounds application and the single page application like single page application can be uh, designed by AngularJS as well so you can use the server side pro in the server side programming you can go for node.js all right so these are some uh, application on which using node.js will be a better idea so this is about the introduction of node.js